Are you wondering who you should pull in 1.5? Then this is the video for you. I'll be tackling each character and discussing the state of the game. There are chapters for you to skim through, but I recommend you watch until the end to get the best insights on who to pull. Let's start with Wo Wo. Wo Wo is a Wind Abundance 5 star character and she's on par with Lucha when it comes to healing. I suspect that she will often overheal and is a good investment for accounts that don't have a good solo sustainer. What sets her apart from the rest of the crew however is that the energy regeneration and attack percent buff that she brings with her ultimate. This would mean that she's crucial in teams that are ultimate reliant such as alongside Tingyun and any DPS that enjoys energy. Dun Hung, Jing Liu, Jing Yuan, Zila, Kafka, the list just goes on. She also has an automatic healing and cleansing through her talent, which would give you a huge amount of utility, which is going to be key in the upcoming patches. This is because I suspect that there will be enemies that will have AoE CC. Fu Xuan, Lynx, and Huo Wo are sure to be top picks when fighting against them. Huo Wo is not dependent on her light cone, but it would be a nice pickup if you don't want to invest in QPQ, 4 star light cones, or multiplication. For the rate up 4 stars, in her banner, it's Dunhung, Arlen, and Serval. Dunhung is good for wind coverage, and Serval can serve as lightning coverage. Though, Serval is very dependent on E6. Personally, I think the 4 stars in her banner are quite mid and lackluster. I wish there was an Asta, Tingyun, or Yukong tossed in there, but oh well. Moving on to Argenti. Argenti is a physical erudition character, and he looks to be the spotlight and focus of this patch. He deals massive amounts of AoE physical damage and his main gimmick is that he has a ridiculously high energy cost. So it's ideal for you to run both Ting Yun and Huo Huo alongside him to get him to unleash it. Argenti has a ridiculous motion value on his ultimate, so he's definitely going to be a hyper carry type unit. Since physical damage dealers are quite scarce, Argenti will be a solid pickup for most accounts. If you don't have Clara, Sushang, or Luka invested, Argenti will enjoy his signature light cone quite a lot, though I think you can run today's another peaceful day on him, and as well as most of the other erudition light cones. Argenti's 4 star banner on the other hand looks absolutely goated. Hanya, Lynx, and Asta. All units are great with higher Eidolons, and he just has a solid banner overall. Alongside Argenti will be Silverwolf's rerun. For those who don't know, Silverwolf is a quantum nihility unit that implants weaknesses upon her enemies and shreds their defenses. Her main value is to be able to bypass enemy weaknesses so that you can use whatever element DPS you want against any enemy, if you plan your team accordingly. Silverwolf excels at single target content, which is absolutely crucial to certain teams like Mono Quantum and other variations of it. Silverwolf also has value outside of combat since you can farm the Quantum Domain forever if you have her on your account. This is because she can enable the Quantum Set for any of your DPS units. This is because Death Thread from the Quantum Set becomes more valuable if you stack with other Death Thread effects and if your enemy is Quantum Weak. All of those conditions are met. For people who are just starting the game or for those who want to build Mono Quantum, Silverwolf is a great pickup. However, a fair bit of warning. If you've already got a solid roster and have coverage on a lot of elements, Silverwolf's value may diminish since a lot of the Harmony units like Ting Yun and Bronya will usually outvalue her otherwise. Silverwolf prefers her event light cone back in 1.1 over her signature, but since that's never coming back around, you can run either pearls or her signature. Silverwolf's 4 stars are the exact same as Argenti's, so that's still great. And since we're here, let's talk about Hanya. Hanya's a physical harmony unit that makes an enemy vulnerable, and grants a unit attack percent SP and speed. From what it sounds like, I think she's got the makings to be an overloaded 4 star support character that most people will want. She's SP positive and gives out a ton of stats. I think she'll synergize the best with hunt characters, but I think she'll do fine with destructions and eruditions. I find it funny that all of the harmony units are getting so many stats and buffs, while Nility on the other hand get very little. Finally, for the state of the game. After three releases of destruction units, we've been in quite the blast meta. But soon enough though, I expect the game to transition into being more AoE and wave focused. So get ready and build up your erudition or destruction units 
because hunts might start to struggle with the swaths of enemies incoming. Get your cleansers ready too, since there's about to be a barrage of AoE CC. If you've got any questions, ideas, or suggestions, please leave it down in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond to them. That's it for me, my name is Kite, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya! Oh, and if you're interested in how to play Mono Quantum, I've got a video about it right here. Bye, for real this time. See ya.